Good morning, everyone. I am uh, Venkatesh Babu, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science Engineering, Christian College of Engineering and Technology, Otanjatram, Dindipil. Today we are going to see about NumPy, uh, which is one of the most powerful packages that is available with the Python, and uh, it is most popular among the data science engineers which is used to perform various data science related operations in faster manner. Uh, to experiment with uh, NumPy, I am going to use a Visual Studio Code as an editor and uh, I am using Jupyter Notepad for executing the Python code. Uh, Jupyter Notepad can be easily downloaded from the extension market that is uh, uh, available with the uh, Visual Studio Code. So we have an extension here. You can see the various options over uh, here. There is a left hand side of your uh, window and uh, there will be an extension. And I can uh, use Jupyter. So we can go here and so I can see here the Jupyter. This is a Jupyter Notepad. Uh, comes with uh, an extension of uh, the Visual Studio Code. I can install since it has, it has been already installed. It's showing uninstalled. If you don't have uh, already installed, it will be showing install here. You can install it and uh, you can restart the editor and it will be readily available for usage. And uh, for uh, installing NumPy, I'm going to use uh, a uh, pipe command, which is available with the Python. Uh, the command is like pipe install nu NumPy. So since I have already installed, uh, it will be checking that its default is already is uh, already is requirement is satisfied. That is that the uh, NumPy is already available with my system, so there is no need for another installation. So we can directly go for uh, experimenting with NumPy. So before going to NumPy, uh, the one of the data types that is available in uh, uh, Python is list. So list is one of the data type that is used in Python for storing information in uh, as a collection, uh, like an array in uh, you may come across the uh, array in C and uh, C++ programming languages. Uh, like this in Python, we don't have any array, further they have, they have different data types. One of the data types is list. So list is used to uh, store information in a uh, uh, order like uh, what we say. So just see an let's we see an example. So list. I'm going to create a list. I'm going to use a list. So l is a list variable, and I'm going to create a list. So with this list we have uh, three items: one, two, three, and I'm going to print the list. So I'm have a list as so three items. Uh, one, two, three, and I'm going to play, uh, print the list, and we are getting the output. The list is a collection of items uh, arranged in a sequential order. So, sequential order means each element will be getting an uh, index. For example, if I'm going to fetch uh, the first element, I can use its index as zero so that only the first element will be get printed. And again, I want to uh, third element. So third element will be at the position two, since the uh, list starts at the lo location one uh, zero. So I can use two. So if I go out three, so there is no element at three. So it throws an error that is a list index out of range. So only we have three elements. The first element starts with zero. Second element one, and third element. Two. Okay, so the uh, list we can define the list as a collection of uh, items um, that are arranged in 
sequential order okay so uh, let's see one of the data type uh, it can store uh, uh, items of different data types so for example uh, i can store uh, and string i can store and character okay so it is a list we have three items so first item is an uh, integer second is a string and third is an uh, character this is a valid entry so i will be getting the list displayed over here right so if i want the um the second element that is in the location one i can use an index of uh, this second element so uh, for storing information in an uh, what in, uh, it's a collection i can go for list but the list has a limitation it can't perform very faster for larger data of uh, what in thousands or uh, ten thousands if you go for data science we have uh, larger data sets so which may collection uh, which may be collected with uh, n number of data the n can be of uh, thousands or hundreds so if we go for a uh, uh, operating over those data the list will be more or less effective uh, in operation so we need some kind of a uh, mechanism that perform very faster so for that we go for a numpy numpy is a package uh, that provides uh, the, uh, provides an array like facility where we can store a large number of data or in another words we can say that uh, we can perform uh, operation on large number of data in very faster manner okay a very faster manner so why the same thing the list and the numpy uh, stores information like array but the list performs very slower and the uh, the facilities provided by the numpy performs very faster um, the difference is that the list in a list if you go for list uh, it stores information not continuously it restores information in scattered manner or a uh, we can't assure that the information stored in the memory uh, using the list will be in a continuous location for example you consider this is a memory location 1 and memory location 2 uh, and another memory location 3 uh, another one memory location 4 for example i'm using the four memory locations and uh, the the list list contain two elements one and three for example uh, we can contain a and p for example purpose so we have four memory locations and we have uh, two elements a and b i can assure that uh, the a and b will be look, uh, stored in other continuous manner for example if uh, the a is stored at 1 and b can be stored at anywhere at 2 uh, 3 or 4 not in 2 i can assure that if you go for list the two element will mean will not be stored continuously okay the a will be stored at one location b can be stored at any other location i can assure that they are in continuous location but go for numpy and we go uh, now pair and if we use two elements and uh, it will be i can assure that the two elements will be stored in continuous location for example a will be stored at uh, location 1 and b will be stored at location 2 so that the operation will be performed very faster so we have the all the elements uh, near by near okay uh first element is at first uh, and second element is in second location third element in third location if you have all 
100 elements continuously the operation can be very faster so the, for that we go for numpy okay so this is a difference between uh, list and numpy list provides the same thing that we can store in a array like information and uh, numpy also provide the same facilities but it performs operation very faster since uh, since numpy stores information in continuous order okay so let us jump into numpy so numpy is a package uh, that is available in python as already we stated that it can be installed using pipe command uh, that is uh, available with the python packages so so whenever uh, you are familiar with uh, we are going to use uh, an uh, package in the python we have to use uh, input so i am going to input numpy and i am going to assign a name for it so each time i should, i call it is very tedious to type numpy numpy i am using an allies name as np okay So uh, the package is successfully uh, imported to my notebook. So now I am using next uh, another one code cell or code plug. And we are going to get started with NumPy. Okay, uh, I'm going to use some variable here, a for array, and I'm going to call numpy. And in numpy, I have a method called array, which is used to store information like an array. Okay. So I am going to call numpy and uh, in numpy I have different uh, functions or methods one of, one of these is an array that is I am going to uh, place uh, information as an array okay this is a function I am going to call this uh, array uh, function I am going to use to store this information like an array so I can print this information over here right they are getting this information so this is similar to a, a list in list uh, so we uh, same thing can be performed using list so I am going to take another code plug so I am going to create a list the list variable L and the list elements 1, 2, 4 ok, I am getting same thing here but as I said at this the numpy stores information in continuous location so that uh, we can perform operation very faster so it's an array so the elements are indexed so you can, you can fetch the first element using the index as zero and the second element i can use the index one and third element I can use the index 3 no it is 2 since uh, the index starts from 0 right so we have created an array with 3 elements using numpy so a 
uh, and this A is an a uh, variable. NP is a package. This NumPy package we are calling NumPy as NP for uh, simplicity of our programming purpose. So I can use here anything else. Okay. So I can I can use XA. If I use XA, I have to use XA here also. Okay. XA dot array. Okay, same thing will happen here. Okay, same thing will happen. I can use uh, that is uh, anything else for uh, easily understand. You see, NP is a NumPy, uh, so I can use NPS here. So that uh, uh, it won't be confusing for you to uh, write program if you have uh, different uh, uh, packages and you have uh, different naming. So it will be very confusing for to uh, program to call the packages and the program gets very larger and it become more complex. So for simplicity, you can use ENP. Okay. So this is first thing we have created an array with three elements and we have got printed uh, the element as uh, an array. Okay, right. Okay, um, again, we are going to see list. So, in list, we used to put uh, elements like this print L, and we will be getting three elements, and I am again creating an, a tuple. Uh, T as a tuple, and I am going to create three elements over here one, six, one, six, seven. Okay, right? I am going to print the tuple. So you can see the output here. So the first L is in uh, an array and uh, T is a tuple. So, so it'll have three elements and uh, the tuple has another three element. I am going to print the both things uh, list and tuple. You can see the output here. So we have uh, an output for a list and this one second one is an output for tuple. Okay. You can see here I have created an array using the list. We can identify them using the uh, bracket that had this name used here for creating the elements. So you can see the bracket, the square bracket. So the square bracket indicates that it is in list. Okay, I have created an array uh, using a, a list. So similarly, I can use a tuple to create an array like this. Okay, that is successfully created and I, the output has, output has been displayed. So, uh, I can create an, an array using list or tuple. So, again, another one variable I am using here and, uh, as a1. I am going to create uh, another array. It is using uh, what list? So first array A is an array that has been created using a tuple. The second array has been created using list. Okay. So both are valid one. So I am going to print the first array, and I am going to print the second array. Right, we are getting an output without any error. So it states that uh, um, list can be used to create an array and uh, 
again we can use an uh, tuple to create an array so let us try uh, in a different manner so i am going to delete things so that uh, we don't mix with informations okay i am going to list i am going to create a list l1 with uh, two elements that is 50 and 10 so it is possible to use uh, or it is possible to pass this list as a parameter to the uh, numpy so that it creates an array using it, it. so on the np array and i am passing l1 so everything goes right i will be getting an output wow super so i can pass a uh, list as a parameter to the functions everyone will be uh, familiar with the function in python uh, we can pass uh, values to the functions so array act as a function you can see that uh, in numpy numpy is a package and uh, array is a function uh, that is uh, available with the numpy so i can pass something to the uh, function so i am here passing an uh, what list right so let us try with a uh, different manner it is possible to pass uh, individual variables so let's make and try everything goes right okay so it's an error so this states that every functions will have a predefined number of parameter that is accepted as an by uh, what uh, parameter or uh, function values so we use if we try to use uh, uh, more number of parameters against the defined one we will be getting an error right so again i am going to create an uh, another uh, tuple we have to information and I am passing tuple as a parameter to the function array right I am getting two elements uh, thank you we will be seeing uh, more uh, information related with the numpy in list video uh, thank you